Wagner Group leader Evgeny Prigozhin claims that Ukraine has 200,000 reserves concentrating to attack along the entire eastern front line. Now, the Institute for the Study of War says Prigozhin's exaggerated statements about the imminent threat to Russian forces are likely an attempt to secure more supplies and reinforcements from the Russian Ministry of Defense to save his forces in Bakhmut. Prigozhin denied the Kremlin's claims that Russia is fighting NATO in Ukraine and questioned whether there are actually Nazis in Ukraine, as the Kremlin constantly claims. Prigozhin stated that Russia is fighting exclusively with Ukrainians and some what he called Russophobic mercenaries who voluntarily support Ukraine, but not NATO itself. Ukrainian Ground Forces Commander Alexander Syrsky stated that Wagner Group elements remain the main Russian force operating in the Bakhmut direction and that they have not yet lost their offensive capabilities. Syrsky noted that while Wagner forces still have a numerical advantage on the front line, Ukrainian forces continue to exhaust the mercenaries here. In the Avdivka direction, Russian forces continue to form new brigades from legacy standing the so-called Donetsk People's Republic, breakaway Russia-controlled region units and mobilized personnel. Russian forces continue to attack Ukrainian positions around Avdiivka. The Institute for the Study of War is quoting a Russian source that is claiming that it is too early to speculate about Russian efforts to create a cauldron around Avdiivka and about operational successes in the area. Ukraine's top ground forces commander said that his forces would soon begin a counter-offensive after withstanding Russia's brutal winter campaign.